All right, so here's a perfect example. Here's the lid for the, the gas tank on this 26, okay? They're working all these here. All these are the hatches. And I'm gonna have Anthony talk to you guys about these hatches now and uh, how they're making them so they can be nice and, uh, and strong. So we'll be talking about that now. I want him to explain it so you guys can see exactly the whole process here. And remember, this is their angler that they're making for angler uh, boats, which is back, but they're being made now by Carrera. And we're gonna show the process of them doing that, okay? So right now they're gonna start working on, okay? start working the fiberglass so you can see them start working this I gotta ask Anthony there he goes Anthony hey guys take a look at this process they're, they're looking how it's done they're looking at the whole process uh, so Anthony, look, let me get over here so we can not get in their way. So he was telling me this is the lid for the fuel tank. Yes, this is one of the main hatches on the floor. Uh, we cover in the fuel tank. They started this morning. This is the first uh, process, which is painting it. No joko. Now they're doing the first hand lamination. Oh, okay. Guys, to get to see it uh, piece by piece. The other pieces so, did so, yesterday already or that So can you show me some of the some of the the other ones that they did yesterday and explain a little bit so they can see that? Because what we're gonna capture them working this here now. What they're doing now is they're taking out all the air hand bubbles. Laminated. Look at that. Hand laminated. Yeah, that, that's, that's that's the best guys. Hand laminated, there's less room for error. These were done yesterday. So this foam, okay, so you laminated this, you put the, what's the thickness of this foam? Excuse me? Anthony, what's the thickness of the foam? This one is quarter inch, depending foam? on the piece. Okay. They have different thicknesses that we use. So then you you laminate, put the quarter inch, and then laminate again? Yes, sir. Okay. So you put the quarter inch in, we use the RJ to fill in all the cavities, then we'll go in and we'll laminate over. This will be a super solid piece. All right. So. My, my assumption is that, you know, maybe brands and companies that have boats that are not so expensive wouldn't do something like this on, on their hatches. No, normally they would just laminate, make it thick enough where they're not going to break apart, and that's pretty much what you get. And, you, and there's what no you foam. With the foam, it also helps with insulation. Um, you're going to give it more bodies, you have more thickness to it. When you put your latches in, when you put your drains in, anything like that, you have more body in the piece. So if you step on this, any of these hatches, a guy like me that weighs 230 won't, won't split it in no half problem. or crack? We're gonna do, uh, We're gonna a do a little show and tell in a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, so this, these are more hatches here? Yeah, these now, are all the hatches for the 28 Pro Angler. Let me ask you something, uh, Anthony, these hatches look like they, they're together. Are, well, is this? these go sandwiched together, because what okay. we did is, all these 
pieces go with a liner. Okay. That way you have that nice finish on the other side. Okay. So once they're done going through the process, these go together and get sandwiched together. Nice. So you, you have, have a nice, nice clean finish, finish when you open it. With gel coat. Oh, yeah. sweet. sweet. Okay, good. And what's this here? What 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 is this? What's well, going this on? This one of the fish boxes that go in the front. This is going to be one of the next pieces to get done because I have to laminate it in the liner before I do my dry fit. Okay. You guys will see that in a second now. Okay, so you're going to show me where we're at on that 26 angler. 28 angler. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, 28 angler. Sure. Take a look at that. Look at the guys that did the work. You already see by where they're at. I already got all laid down. All the corners. That's no joke. Can you explain to them real quick? When there's gel coat that starts chipping off and gets air, how, how do boat manufacturers prevent that from happening? Well, uh, the good boat manufacturers, that's not going to happen. Because the thing is, if you do the process that they're doing there with a the roller, where they're taking it all the way down to the corner, there's no way to get any oil, uh, no air voids. Okay, because I'll tell you, that is something that becomes a problem for a lot of people. Um, that if they don't take their time and, and work it right, in this case it's all hand laminated. It's all hand laminated. Another thing is when they're using a the chop gun, when they're using the chop and they don't go in and they don't press it in in all the corners correctly, they're gonna get the air. That's why my guys have different size rollers. You'll see he's using a thicker roller with a brush, he has a thinner roller. So he's the one that's coming in last and making sure that his roller gets all those corners nice. You see that? Okay. That's how you do that when you don't have no air voids in all right. The guy's going in now for the last layer. See, he went and grabbed another roller. So there's different tools that you use for different parts of this process. Sweet. For people that don't know, don't use the right tools, things like that happen where you're going to get the air voids, you're going to have issues. Great. Can we walk and see where we're at with the 28 now? Sure. Come on, let, let, let's, go, let's go take a look at that. All right, so we're here. We're now. Okay, so we're at the 28 angler. And the last time we did this video, Anthony, you guys were finishing up the transom and... Which is done. Okay. And we were talking about the stringer system. We were over there fixing the mold. Okay. That's the mold's right. already fixed. We already popped out the first piece and we're doing a dry fit inside of the 28. So you guys can get an idea. A lot of you guys are asking about this. You guys get an idea about the stringer system now. You can see it all has the rib, it has the bulkhead, the stringer is all one piece. The bilge has a nice finish. It's the inside of the bilge. Which is nicely cleaned. You, you can know. take a nap in there if you like. <laughs> okay, so right now nothing is laminated per se on the boat. You just have, you're doing a dry fit right now. We're doing a dry fit, yes. Okay. Making sure everything is correct. Now what we do is we do an outline with a Sharpie. We'll outline where this is going to, where it's sitting. We'll pull it back up. We RJ under it. Okay. And then we'll come in. Lay it down and then we'll laminate. Explain to them what the RJ is. So, th which there's is different types of RJ. It's a putty. Okay. Okay. It's a putty adhesive. Um, can't tell you exactly which one I'm using. That's our secrets. But um, that, that's what we use to to lock it in. Then we come in and we laminate all the corners all the way around to make sure everything is 100% sealed. And strong and sturdy nice and, and stiff. Strong, sturdy. This is a solid piece. You guys can see this thickness. It's nothing flimsy here. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about the liner. Um, the liner. For this, for this 28 uh, angler. So tell me a little bit what you guys have done and some of the things that uh, the people at Angler and you guys have come up with to make the boat, you know, a lot stronger. We, you guys said that you don't want anything flimsy. Right, of course. Everything has to be super solid. We went and uh, we looked at one that was already made, an older Angler 28, me and Chris. And um, we went over the boat and we found a few parts where it felt a little flimsy. So we wanted to make sure that on this new Angler Pro, you weren't going to get that, uh, that issue. So one of the things is we wanted to go in with bigger ribs. So we went in, we did these ribs on the side. That way this big area doesn't feel flimsy. When you're on the other side, you were to hit it. You can see that's solid, solid, solid piece. Nothing feels flimsy Nothing. There. It's not going to wave and, and feels, Feel you know, hollow, hollow. Nothing like that at all. Here is another big area. We went in with the three. So now you get that super, super harsh and, structural support there. And that's foam here, right? This that's is, three quarter inch foam laminated. 
And and for those that don't know, Chris is, Chris Grillo is the owner of Angler. He's what was the owner the, of Angler Pro? Angler Pro. That's right. That's the, the thing. And he's the son of the original owner of Angler. Of Angler. Correct. So, okay. So, so we're working together to make sure that um, that this boat comes out super solid. He's very uh, very into the quality and the finish of the boat. So we're making sure that that's why we went over one of the older ones. We found a few flaws. So we're coming in, we're making sure that this one is, we take care of all those little flaws. Yeah, no type of imperfection on this one. Great. The floor, everything is, see, foam everywhere. You have different size foam, depending on what area. Now, you said you're going to do a dry fit of the liner. Yes, with, soon. Okay, so soon we're going to flip this one over, and I'm going to set it inside of the 28 hull mm -hmm. before... I put down the RJ on that stringer system. I want to make sure that everything sits in there correctly and nothing's hitting. We're not going to have any issues. I don't want to have to be grinding afterwards. So dry fit is very important to us right now. This is the first one we're doing for them. We did do a few changes. So we want to make sure that everything is 100%. We did look at everything. We're assuming everything is fine, but we got to make sure. So that's where the dry fit comes in. That way we don't have no headaches later. It's, it's like a little extra safety measure. Yeah, yeah. I don't want my guys to have to be grinding two hours there. And wasting time. So, and exactly. So that's awesome. Our next thing is going to be a dry fit. You'll see that soon. We'll do the dry fit in here. If everything goes well, we'll put it back up. Everything is on chain. And everything is put together. You guys can see all the foam. All the foam is laid down. The areas. I'll put it in between. So, you look, I'd like to see what you said earlier that, because one of the things that really annoys me is if I'm stepping on a boat, and this only annoys me because I'm fat right now. I mean, I ain't even gonna front, bro. I'm 230, and I step on a hatch, and I'm freaking out that I'm gonna break the hatch. Or, yes. or I'm sitting down on a flimsy hatch, and all of a sudden I feel like, oh, dude, this thing's gonna break or whatnot. I guarantee you, it's not a Carrera, and it's not an Angler Pro. That's Guaranteed. If you're feeling that, it's not one of these. Okay, can we get a I'll hatch? Can, can we get a hatch? Let's let's get a hatch, and maybe we can do something real quick so we I can, can... do a little test there. We can show the people the difference. Okay, let's let's see more or less because I want them to see the building process. And Now, there is a sacrifice to building really good, right? I'm, uh, and I think, here's my, my question to you. The better the boat is made, it is going to make it a little heavier. It is going to make it a little heavier. It's more time consuming, okay. of course. It's more expensive for us. But like Chris said in his last video, we're not trying to be, uh, it's not trying to be a production boat. He wants to finish. He wants the boat to be, every boat that comes out, to be an excellent piece, to be an, an exact replica of what he wants. He wants that pro. That's why he added the pro to the angle. Yeah. He wants to make sure everything is 100%. fancy you know what I'm gonna do just so people can get the idea of what I'm really trying to capture here I'm gonna put it I'm gonna uh, uh, elevate it a little bit and just kind of use it like a spring so um, guys I don't think I'm gonna go ahead all right so he's gonna put a block uh, you got another block there you have two blocks or Hey, hey, Anthony, look, let me ask you something, bro. How, how much are you weighing, bro? Right around there, man. All right. Over there. All right, so look. 20. I'll tell you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, I got you by 10 pounds. All right, but well, listen. Ooh. I think that's close, close enough. Maybe you can carry the box over there. And just look. It's already elevated. 
go ahead and step on, on it there so they can see what we're talking about. Go a little bit forward, right there, right there. Now kind of like jump from there. You see, that's guys, that's what I was talking about that is a problem. So when you don't have something, when you don't have something properly made, you know, you're gonna go ahead and break a hatch and Let's start cracking. See that there, guys? Joe Cole. No cracking here. Okay. Solid. Well, stand I, behind our work. I, I think you see it's little things like that that people don't know. And, and one of the reasons why I like doing this the way I do it is I want people to see the insides of how things are being made so they can ultimately make the, the determination of the quality and the price that they want to pay for a certain product, you know? So uh, sometimes people don't, don't understand and say, well, why does this boat cost this much and the other one costs that much? But when you're talking about, you know, extra layers, you know, the foam, all that stuff, you can, uh, you, can, into it, of course. you can justify. You can justify. Let's yeah. make it 400. <laughs> Hold on. In that case, in that case, let me, you know what? There we go. Guys, Carrera building angler boats. Stay tuned for the 32 Carrera. We're gonna get that one too. Let's go back. I saw that you have the mold of the the stringer system. Can we go right back to that real quick? Because I I already see that it's it's pulled off and it's it's outside. Yes. So let's go over here real quick so they can see that. Because you know it's a different video. It, 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 it's a different video, Anthony, and sometimes people didn't see this part. Um, this is the mold for the stringer system. The 28 Angler Pro. We already uh, repaired it. We uh, painted it with all the tooling Joko. It's waxed. We already popped one piece out of it. How did it pop? Good? Beautiful. Nice? Yeah, nice and easy. We easy. have air vents all through it. So on the other side, you put in the air holes, and it'll pop in pressure through there, and it pops it right out. Uh, we're using the liquid wax. That's about as much as our secret we're gonna give you. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but yeah, man, everything came out nice. I think I stuck anywhere. And now when you guys go ahead and build another angler, spray the gel coat again, relaminate. Uh, you should be able to pop out 10 pieces without uh, waxing again. We're gonna do five to be safe. Okay. We're gonna do five. But um, this wax is, is excellent. That's awesome. All right, guys. Um, last thing. Tanks. I know there's a lot of manufacturers down here. I'm going to be yep. doing uh, a walkthrough soon of a company here. And I wanted to know if you guys, who you guys use for, for the, the tank manufacturing for your Carreras. For our Carreras, we use uh, Sunshine Tanks. Um, they're number one in the industry. We don't go cheap when it comes to our boats. You guys know that already. Um, we like the way their vents are incorporated. They have the new um, Coast Guard standards with their vents. Okay. They're not doing the old school separate vents with the vent on the side. It's all one integrated piece. We'll show you on the on the Carrera there. You can see the fill, how the fill has the, the vent already incorporated into it. And that's so, one of the differences. So look, I'm going to go ahead and do a walkthrough of their facility. I'm going to also show, showcase how they manufacture that because I also want people to know when you guys are building Carreras, mm -hmm. you know, that the tanks that they're getting inside those Carreras are made by Sunshine. So Yes, they're made by Sunshine. And I know I've, I've heard already a lot of the big manufacturers down here like to use them because of the build quality. Yes. They're not the cheapest. Number one. They're not the cheapest, but, they're not. but they are the we best. never look for the cheapest. Yeah, you guys know us already. They're, they're the best. Yes. They All right. Are. Well, listen. I'll be here in the morning. We're going to pop that out. Yep. And uh, I guess that'll be the next video. And we'll go from there. And then hopefully we can go ahead and get this uh, angler in the water and do a sea trial and make amazingness. Yes. Let's do it. Of course. All right, guys. Anthony here at Carrera Power Boats. We're out of here. It's not every day you get a little special treat on this process. Anthony! Oi, bro, how did we get so lucky to have a 28 footer here? How'd you manage to get this 28 foot angler here uh, at the shop? 
Can 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 you tell me what's going on here? Social bro? media had a lot to do with it. Really? Yeah, we have one of our friends down at uh, Voodoo Motorsports. Okay. He's the one that actually works on the boat. Okay. And through Instagram, we're able to see one day that he was actually working on it. We talked to him about it. He hooked us up with the customer, and we've been able to get him to come in. We can go over a few things on the boat. So this is going to be the exact same boat. Let me get on the other side because I'm I'm getting a little. Let me get up here. Okay. So this is the exact exact same boat that you guys are, are building for Angler Pro, right? Yes, it is. This is the 28 foot Angler Pro. Yep. The Pro version. All right. So. So this is going to be the layout. Can you explain this layout real quick so people can get a, an, an idea of what you guys are going to be building for the new model that's going to be built by Carrera Power Boats? Well, this is a 28 open fish. You have uh, different features with the boat, different seating you can use. Um, this is one of the more popular ones because you have the, the sink, you have the big live well, you have the front seating, it's optional as well. You have the wraparound bench seat. You can have it just open bow. So there's different options. So you you you, you same hard top. You don't have to have the seating here. You, you don't can have, have it to completely have the seating open. Here. You can have an open bow. Should be more for the fishing guys. This is more for the family guys. Can have more seating. All hard top too. You guys have that mold for same that hard top. Hard top. What's changed a lot has been the laminating schedule. The way everything gets put together. It's and one we, of the big changes that came in. And we've been showing a lot of the, the yeah, you changes. You guys have seen in the past videos how we're reinforcing a lot of things. We added Kevlar to the hall now, so it's a lot of, a lot of extra that went into the laminating schedule. So tell me about this uh, bilge area, and why is this? What are you doing? Are you are you working on this boat for this guy, or what, what's what do you what's well, the story? We're actually missing one of the pieces for uh, for Chris's molds for the angler, and uh, we reached out to this customer thanks to Voodoo, and we were able to um, to talk to him to come in, convince him to come in, and uh, let us take a, a mold off of his uh, back hatch, which you guys will see now when we go down. So I'm taking it apart now for him. In exchange, we're doing a couple uh, a couple little jobs for him. He has his hard top that's been leaking over the years. A few guys have worked on it, haven't really been the best in the game. So he has some leaks in the hard top. We're gonna add a sound system for him. So, there's, there's a few things we're doing for him. So kind of like a favor for a favor, you know? Pretty much. You're yes, taking sir. off this yep. lid and you're gonna okay guys so essentially what they're doing they remove the actual lid here which is down there we'll show you that down down there in the bottom inside the shop and then they're gonna go ahead and make a mold so they can go ahead and make future lids for for, yep. for, for this particular boat so this saves us a lot of time we don't have to go make a mold from scratch yes we're absolutely. able to get a piece and uh, replicate it now Dude, this... you guys can see it has a huge open area here you can get inside to the bilge yeah this is huge you see the finish in the stringer the whole stringer system. So this is the same stringer system that's in there. It's all nicely finished. Yeah, that same we stringer saw. system. This is what you're looking at in here. That's awesome. All right. Well, listen. I, I I didn't expect to have this boat here. So you know what? I think it gives them a better idea of what it's going to look like yep. when you guys finish that boat. All right. Obviously, it's going to be more updated, built much stronger because this is going to be like the Pro Edition yes. that Chris Chris is the owner, guys, of Angler uh, Boat Pro. So. Let's go down there, let's take a look at that hatch, and let's go see some of the actual hatches that the guys are actually working on. Yep, let's go guys. So this is the lid that that 28 angler has donated so you guys can make the mold. Yep. Can you give them a brief, just brief, because I'm not going to be able to film everything, but more or less the procedure of what's going to happen to make the mold of this. So what, what, what do you have to do now? Well, now we're going to go in, we're going to close all the holes, we're going to get all the holes finished. They're going to go in, they're going to paint everything up. Then they're going to do a reverse flange on it. Then they're going to be able to pop out the skin. Then we can do the mold from there. Okay. So if we turn this over, I mean, I, I'm a, I saw that this one, since it's on the floor, it already has some... Okay. So all this, you have to also duplicate this as well, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, this is going to pop out with the mold. When it opens out, it's going to have the non-skin. Okay. Just these holes will all be sealed. Nothing will be open on the holes. So everything will be sealed. Everything will be closed. Okay. And then you'll have that and you'll have a complete 100% mold. We'll have a mold just like we do for all the other pieces. Now, Angler Pro has all their molds except the 26. The 26, we bought it from them. 
Now it's a Carrera. It's a Carrera 26. We're working on popping one out now. You guys will see that soon. And I think we talked about that with Chris also yes. in the past. So we'll eventually show that particular boat being done. Yes. So let's walk over here. Now that the guys are on break, I can actually show some of the stuff that we were looking at yesterday. So show you guys a few tricks when it comes to the boat. Let me show them this real quick, Anthony. So yesterday they were lining all this and today they're putting foam. You guys can see it before they laminate everything. They put down the foam. They put down where the hinges go, Trevilla. It's Trevilla, guys. You see it there where the hinges are gonna go. Okay, so what does this do right here? That reinforces the piece. That will actually even get a, a it'll be like, you can also, also it'll thread itself. Okay. So all the screws will be able to grab and bite a lot better. Nice. Even if you threw both, but the, tra the Trevilla makes it super durable. Yeah. See, we lay it down on all our pieces. You'll see Trevilla on certain parts. Wherever screws go, we use the Trevilla. Even around the rub rail, the whole section, you'll see the Trevilla. That way, when you put the screws into the rub rail, in the future, if you bump into a dock or anything, you don't see the screws come out. Yeah, that's okay? annoying. That locks it in. Yeah, yeah, that's That's annoying. what makes a difference when you're building. That's a quality build. So you see Trevilla on all our pieces. Wherever screws go, you'll see Trevilla. Now, here is another part. I mean, you guys are you guys are putting this foam everywhere. Everything is reinforced. This is uh, the live well. Helps for insulation. It's more durable. And this is the what is this? The the this is the leaning post. The leaning post. So they're working on Roll that Travilla. now. Roll You see, we use it everywhere. <laughs> That's our Frank hot sauce. Right here. Okay, so. I mean, listen, I, I, think, I think people are getting a better understanding now of the differences between doing something somewhat good and something amazing. Oh, actually, you Even told me... big hatches, you guys can look. See? Added these two ribs to the middle. It is a big surface. It doesn't sit on anything. Nothing goes under here. So nothing supports it. So we go in, add a three-quarter inch foam, and we also added these ribs to it to make it extra durable. We have no flex. No. I was like, we're, we're big boys, we can stand on this, we can jump on hey, it. Hey bro, what are you going to call me fat bro? Hey, bro? I didn't say fat, I said big boys. Big Come on bro. We're, Come we're, on Anthony. Big bone. <laughs> but with these big areas like this, we always try to reinforce and put these ribs in, that way you have no type of flex. Did you guys pop this one already? Did, uh, I, did, I think that one of the guys said that this was popped. Yeah, this is already um, it's off the mold. We'll we'll bring this down, we can pop it you, out. You know what, let's, let's do that real quick. Let's, let's bring it down. Let me let me put down the camera real quick and then we I think if they get to see all this Hold that real quick. Wow. Beautiful, dude. Now, so Anthony, how? Right out the mold. I, 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 I see that. So let me ask you this, right? So, what's getting you that shine? Is there? Is it because the mold is really waxed and all that? What's getting you that shine? All it has to do with the gel coat you're using. Um, the wax that you're using, it's the whole procedure. You know, like Chris said from the beginning, quality was number one when it comes to this yeah. boat. So he's been using the best materials, best paints. Guys, I don't know if you guys can it can translate there with this camera, but this thing looks fire. Non-skid, it's flawless. And what's this here? That's gonna be a hatch access. A hatch access to? Yes. It's gonna be for the, I'm saying, Alright guys, well listen, we're gonna go to the next step. Anthony, you guys are out doing yourselves, man. 
I'm so glad that you guys get to see this process of this build. You can see how the Carrera Power Boats is stepping up the industry and making sure that everybody, at least, you know, when, when the consumer's educated, they can say, hey, look, do X, Y, and Z and be a part of this build, you know? So that's awesome. Let's go to the next spot. Anthony, only because sometimes people, people just can't visualize, and I like to be very thorough when, when I talk. Okay, this Trubilla that we just shown uh, on the hatches, okay, um, it almost feels like a felt, you know, so where in the boat, boat per se, now that we were lucky enough to have this 28 angler here, which is going to be the same boat, but the, the pro version, Right. So where are you going to have this Travilla on this boat when, when, when you guys are working it? Well, we're putting this anywhere that there's screws. Anywhere that it takes screws, where screws fast to the piece, okay. it's going to take Travilla. Okay. You guys get an understanding, it'll be like behind the rub rail, for instance. With the Travilla oh. here, once you attach this rub rail with the Travilla and the okay. screws go in and everything is bonded together, okay. your screws won't back out out of it. Okay. Normally, you'll see boats are older boats. Once they hit the dock two or three times, it's, this it's, starts coming apart. It's happened to me. You start getting a little play here. It's, ha it's happened to me. A you lot of times yeah. it's because it's on pure fiberglass. Yeah. The screw will end up wallowing out. It'll slide out. It'll loosen its tension. So you get that 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 looseness. So it'll be all on the hatches where the screws all are. On the hatches, tuna door, um, on the hard top, on the hull. Okay. Anywhere the screws go in, you're gonna see Travilla on the boat. All right, guys. Very the wor important for the us. word of the day: Travilla. Trevilla. Yeah, I gotta put him on the truck. Bro. Hey! I need you to help me free baby, baby fish. Killer. I need you to help me free baby fish killer, bro. We got out here hey. at Carrera. There has no bail, man. There's no bail for hey, this. Bro, one. it was a mullet, bro. He's going in for a mullet, bro. He 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 cast netted a mullet, bro, and he took him out, bro. It was a little small, bro, but Yeah, but you know what? I leave him in jail. Baby fish killer, bro. Yeah. We tried, bro. We yeah, tried. No, hey, no, no. we tried, we tried, we tried, bro. Baby, Baby fish, fish killer. killer is stay in jail, yeah, he's he's, no. bro. He took out a mullet, bro. It was it was a small mullet, bro. Finger mullet. He was trying to catch a snook, but I told him, bro. No, no. You call him the sardina whisper. Oh no no no. 